What's up, guys? Happy Thursday, man. I went out here and uh, had a great day today. So anyway, I want to just do a little message. I had one of my colleagues, Mr. Purdue, Aaron Purdue. He's uh, he's out of Ohio, and he called me today. He said, Courtney, um, I've actually coached him in wood floor maintenance, and uh, he does that. And he said, Courtney, I got this great idea, man. I want to I wanna run it past you, just get your opinion on it. And after we talked on the phone, I said, Aaron, that's a great idea. Okay, it's a great idea. And um, it's almost in the same sense of teaching, coaching, but it's, it's again, I'm not going to put his niche out there where he's uh, planning on doing it because it's a really good idea, right? But one thing I did tell Aaron, guys, and this is for those that want to become uh, content creators, those that want to coach, those that want to offer something, because again, guys, there's nothing wrong with this. Offering, teaching, coaching, mentorship, services, products. It's nothing new. It's just basically finding, you know, having having a solution to people's problems who are looking for solutions, right? So my thing is this. I told Aaron, you know, because he immediately started talking about building websites and things like this. I said, Aaron, this is my advice. And I want to share this advice with you guys. At the end of the day, including myself. I am a content creator. I create content, okay? That's something I have been doing for over 10 years. And the number one thing about being a content creator is you have to be consistent with it. That's the number one reason why most people fail because they're not consistent, okay? As you create content, you build your content and you put it out there on the internet, YouTube, Facebook, social media, blah, blah, blah. You then start to build an audience, okay? As you build your audience, that's when you can then offer, you know, products or services or whatever you have to offer. But this is the cool thing about being a, a content creator, at least from my experience. When you build your content and you share your content, and you build your audience, your audience will basically start asking you, how can you help them? Because you know why? They already see what you do. <laughs> so you don't even have to, you know, go outside of the realm and, you know, start trying to come up with these crazy ideas of offering your services or your products because your audience will automatically start asking you how you can help them with a solution to their problem. And that's one thing that's happened for me, guys, is like, for example, I, again, coach people how to do wood floor maintenance. Um... People ask me to show them how to do it. I put it out there. Today, I have a Zoom class coming up uh, October 22nd. Today, I had three people sign up. Yesterday, I had two people sign up. All right. One guy today from Canada, one guy from Tennessee, and one guy from Michigan. All right. And I got a few more um, that said they're probably going to be signing up by the end of the day. But the thing about it is, is all I had to do was just put my content out there. I don't have to say, oh, I can teach you how to do wood floors. Come to my class. Come to my class. Oh, I could. No, they already see what I do. When they call me and they reach out to me and they private message me, this is what they're telling me. Courtney, I've been following you, man. I see what you're doing. I see the opportunity. I want to try this. I want to get into this. Just like Aaron. Aaron uh, has been with me for about two years. <laughs> um, has a fully wrapped wood floor maintenance truck uh, doing a, a well. Even start sanding floors. See what I'm saying? Um, so that's what it's about, guys, is... You know, when you do, because again, we are in that time where a lot of people, you know, want to be heard. A lot of people want to offer something. A lot of people want to teach. Um, but I, you know, but I will say one thing about Aaron is uh, he has a very, very, very unique um, um, system that he's going to be putting out there. And like I said, I'm not going to share it um, I'll, I'll think because that's his, that's his idea. But it is definitely something that's going to be well needed in the direction that he's going. So I just want to say this, guys, is a content, you know, once first understand that you are a content creator. OK, create your content. All right. Be consistent. Consistency is the number one uh, 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 destroyer of anybody who's trying to build a platform on social media. Most people, I'm telling you, I've seen it over and over and over again because most people, uh, it's two things. Uh, either they're just not consistent or they really don't have nothing to offer so they can't 
they can't cook, come up with content. And then if they do, they try to copy and paste. And when people notice that, because again, guys, this is the internet. Okay, we see stuff all the time. And when people see, you know, what I call uh, uh, copy and paste material, it, it, it's it's like you know, it's it's like well, I just heard that. I just heard that guy say that. I just heard I just heard that lady say that. It's the same, you know, and, and because we we are used to remembering things. We're used to, you know, you you ever you know you know what I'm saying when you heard someone say something like, then I just hear that. It's, it's like me start singing a song right now. And I say, hey, guys, listen, check out this song um, that I wrote. Check, check this out. Check this out. And I started singing a song. And it was a clear black night, a full black moor. Warren G was on the street. you like, hold on now. According to you, that's not your song. That's Warren G. <laughs> it's the same thing, guys. So, so that's the thing is if you are going to be a content creator, you have to come up with original content. Okay, you have to come up with original content where people is is, is going to hold people to what uh, what you're saying and, and make them want to listen. Okay, and then once they start listening and they like you, they like what you're talking about, they like what you're you know whatever you're doing, um, uh, then they become an audience. They subscribe, they follow. Okay, a lot of people want to follow you, not want to subscribe. Um, then, you know, again, but they're gonna they're gonna watch you. And then the more they see you doing it, it starts to build a trust factor. Uh, it, it, it gets personal. Um, and like I said, then they'll start asking you. They'll start asking you for your advice, your help, your mentorship, whatever it is. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And I will say, guys, another thing, too. Don't expect it to happen overnight. OK, everybody's different. Okay? There are some people who can put out one video right now and blow up all right but that's not reality okay that's not reality for most of us most of us um, it takes years it takes years and like I said you have to be consistent with it and but it but again I can say for myself it, it, it the, the rewards is, is worth it it's worth it but at the same time you have to enjoy it got to enjoy creating content you have to enjoy being on camera talking um and it's certain things don't even care about like i say i hear people say oh courtney i don't want to get on camera because i don't like the way i sound i don't want to get on camera because i have missing teeth guys i got missing teeth too okay um you know i don't like the way i look you know like dude like people see people every single day right you ain't the only person with a missing tooth you ain't the only person with, with a uh, country accent okay you're not the only person I mean just put yourself out there make that and that's what makes you original okay that's what makes you unique when you're not trying see this is the thing about it am I missing tooth I don't like the way I sound I don't like the way I look because now you're trying you're actually stripping stripping away your your originality from yourself because you're trying to fit in with with, with everybody else I don't do that guys I'm me, all right? And there's only one me. And I love that, okay? I'm not trying to copy nobody. I'm not trying to duplicate nobody, all right? I just do me. And some people like it. Some people don't. Some people it attract. Some people don't. It's just That's anything, okay? Everybody was not a Michael Jordan fan. Everybody was not a Tom Brady fan, all right? Everybody was, it's not a Tyler Perry fan. Everybody's not a Jay-Z fan, all right? And that's what you have to understand. Everybody's not going to follow you just because you put something out there. But if you put enough out there and, and, and you're original, enough people will adapt and enough people will follow, subscribe, and enough people will be interested in what you have to offer. All right, guys. Peace. I'm about to go home. Enjoy the rest of my night. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.